go to your Facebook page and we'll just go to it from there. So go to your Facebook page and, and we'll get to the ads manager from there. All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as long as there's an example that everybody can kind of focus. <clears throat> These are pretty sharp folks here. So, okay, cool. <clears throat> We're here. Perfect. So um, let's just click on, on see more right there to the left and we'll see um, your ads manager and we'll, we'll, we can get to it from there. And even though I have different business pages, is there a different, is there one ad ads manager? <clears throat> there, there's one ads manager, but what I want to do here is see if you have a business manager, you want to be running everything out of your business manager. Um, mm. So let me see what you have going on over here. Click on the dots to the left and let's just go to business settings. So you'll see, yeah, there we go. Business settings. You can close that out. Okay, so you have you have these two different business managers. Um, I guess just choose whichever one you want to work out of, and we'll build out of that one. Well, uh, so I mean, I don't understand the distinction between them. So this one says I have <clears throat> zero pages, one person. The other one, two pages, two people. Yeah, uh, maybe click on that one and, and maybe make yeah, this one our, our default one. Okay. So what I what I normally do on, on this first call is really just really break down this entire back end of it and have you bookmark the most important tabs that you'll ever click on. Because because back here, there's a bunch of stuff going on, but there's only a few things you'll ever need. Okay. And so what, what I'll have you do is create a folder at the top, and we're going to just dump a bunch of bookmarks in this folder. So your bookmarks bar right there at the top somewhere, let's create a, a, a folder and just name it ads manager. Cool. So... Uh... So let's go. I never created um, a folder. Let's go so just to, like, yeah, bookmarks. And then you should see. Um, bookmark manager. Yeah, go to bookmark manager. See if we can create a folder. Other bookmarks. Um, bookmarks bar. Maybe, yeah, those three dots. Add add new folder right there. Perfect. And then if you can't, yeah, ads manager. <clears throat> Okay, perfect. So we got it there. Okay, so let's go back to the to the business settings to that tab, the ads man, the business manager tab to the left. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, right here. Okay. So yeah, those are this is the this is the page that you want to kind of make your your default business page. So the bottom left, go to your business info and just give that yeah, go to business info at the bottom. And let's just rename this. Right now it's Chris Ness. So let's just rename that. Hit edit and and maybe maybe make that dream key or whatever. Mm -hmm business you plan on running out of this and then see in the primary page see if you can click search and just type in your page see if it pops up i have two pages i have the dream key consulting page but then i also have one that i made out of uh like uh i don't know what's better this one has this one's when i closed Whatever. my personal page so it doesn't matter right yeah it doesn't matter okay. time tied to something and then later on you can always put a profile picture there okay. and then and then this right here is the most important so um bookmark it you can you can you can Yes, you could bookmark it. Just name it business info. Um, put it in that in that ads manager folder and then just name it business info. But this right here is, is a huge, huge thing that that Facebook just absolutely wants to comply with. Your ads will get your ads won't just get rejected, but you'll have accounts closed if if this information is not fully here. A lot of us used to just leave this part blank, but you want to fill it out now. You want to fill it out and then you you don't need tax ID. Um, and and that legal name doesn't necessarily have to be an LLC like if, if you guys, you know, Pierre, if you guys don't have an out, it doesn't have to be just any random name, but, but for sure the, the address, the phone number, the website, okay. and then as you scroll down, make sure you verify your email. So, so I have to fill out all this stuff, the address and, and everything they want. Yeah, to fill that for out? sure. For sure. Okay. Do, you don't have to do it now, but, but for sure do okay. it later. Yeah. And yeah then, I'll, I'll do it later. And then right below, you'll want to verify your email as well. So this right here, a lot of us, again, before in the past, used to be able to leave that blank, but but not anymore. Now you have to. Should I use info um, or like my name? Because yeah. I usually use. That, that, that's good. Like I have support, you know, in mine, support at. So Because I have a few different ones, but I guess it's the general one. Cool. Yeah, so this is, this is what you want to confirm for sure. So um, click save and then verify that email later on. Um, sure. But this is this is business info. Now let's go back up to um, what we'll do also is, is let's check these ad accounts. So let's let's click on ad accounts to the left and let's just make sure that we have. OK, so this is where you'll you'll want to create a new ad account. Yeah, create create a new ad account. 
And then what I do is I'll name it the same. So Dream Key Consulting, that's what we name the business manager. That's what we'll also name the ad account. And that's what we'll also name the pixel, um, Dream Key Consulting. So, okay. And then there, awesome. you can hit the drop down. There's a ton of time zones, man. It might take you forever, but um, to find New York, <clears throat> see if you can. I thought it was G, I thought it was uh, minus five, right? Huh? Isn't it here minus five? I passed it. Yeah, it was up. Sorry. Okay. I'll do it later. Yeah, that that part you could probably probably do later, or maybe just go off of off of Los Angeles time. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I mean this this isn't a really a make or break. It's really just okay when we set the ad. And we set it for 9 a.m. It's really, you know, noon your time, for example. You know what I mean? So this is this is not the most important, but you can always change it later. But go ahead and click next and then and then just go through. And then you may want to just bookmark this and just add payment um, information later if, if you want to do that. Um, click on next. All right. Yeah, I think um, my, my headphones died, I think. So, um, so click okay. on next. Sir. Yeah, click on next. And then um, my business, and then you'll click on create. And then mm -hmm. you'll want to bookmark this page as well. So this is your ad account. Um, so go ahead and click on your name at the top left and then manage ad accounts to the bottom right. So check that circle and then bottom manage ad account and then go to assign. Okay, cool. So um, yeah, so I might've kicked you out and want you to come back in. Okay, so let's go back to the ad account. And um, actually, yeah, there you go. Click on the one to the right. And oh, go, ahead and, go ahead and bookmark this one right here. Bookmark it from here and just name it business settings. So, and then also always make this sure- one, Bookmark this one? Yeah, go ahead and bookmark this one. And this is business settings. So we're gonna just put a handful of bookmarks in there and, and I'll, I'll walk you through the, the other side of it all. But um, this is just starting from the basics, man, and just knowing exactly what to click on and what's important and what's not. But go back to ad accounts to the left. So that ad account should be should be fine. And um, okay, so your name's connected to it. Perfect. So just click on click on connected assets right there um, towards the middle. Connected assets. Okay, so see if you can add an asset here. Sometimes you can add your pixel to this. Sometimes it's on the pixel side. Yeah. So we'll do it on the pixel side. So X out of here. Yeah. So you bookmark this page, right? This is. Mm -hmm. in, did you bookmark business settings? Yeah, this this one business okay. settings. Now bookmark this one ad account. So, so there's your ad account ID number. One? Yeah, bookmark this one ad account. This is ad account ad accounts ad account. So whenever I mean, uh, again, I've I, I don't know it all, man. I don't know it all, but I I know I know a sh I know a shitload when it comes to this platform, man. But sometimes every now and then there's something that that may come up that's super random, and you'll have to reach out to Facebook. Whenever that happens, that number, that account number, 791, that's what they're going to yeah. always ask for. All right. So they're going to always ask for that ad account number. And that's that's the number right there. Okay. So now to the left, Instagram account. If you have any Instagram accounts, connect it there. Um, and, and, and that's kind of basic. But the data sources is what you want to, want to click on for sure as well. The data sources, click on. Yeah, you're fine there. Is that your? <laughs> yeah, that's your yeah. IG. Okay. So click on data sources. And then now what we'll do is we'll um, go ahead and click on pixels, see if this pixel is even, even up. So go ahead and create a pixel from here. Um, and this, yeah, go ahead and click on add. <clears throat> and then what I do too is, yeah, I'll name it the same, Dream Key Consulting. Um, you could put the website there and then just click on, click on continue. Is this Dream Key Consulting, that's it? Yeah, actually, well, that that would be your website, but that's fine. We're not gonna we're not gonna set that up right now, anyways. So, um, what you can do is you can, yeah. Why don't you just set up? Let's just put it on one page for now. So just go ahead and click on set up new pixel now, and we'll go manually add the middle one, and then go ahead and just copy this this code. Yeah, click there, and then um, click con continue, and then you you'll want to make sure everything over here. Actually, go ahead and click yeah. click on click on back. Go back. And then just scroll down a little bit. So scroll down, make sure everything is blue. So actually turn off and then turn back on. There we go. And then turn back on. Okay, cool. Now hit continue. You guys following? I'm recording it. 
So then now hit now hit cancel and then now just take that code. You just copied it. So now let's take it to Kartra and we'll just put it on, on a page for now, just so Facebook can read it. So let's go to Kartra, open up a tab um, to the left, Kartra, and then just go to pages and add it to a add it to a page. <clears throat> Should I pick something that I'd want to do like an ad with or yeah, for sure. Put it on your opt-in page or your or your squeeze page or your landing page. Um I feel like I have all these things. <clears throat> like a strategy call, I guess, right? I mean, yeah, you can. I mean, it can, it's going to go on every page, first of all. But um, for now, you can just put on. I'll do it on the weekly role play sign up. Yeah, that that that's fine. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so we'll come in here, and then all we're going to do is click on settings to the left and go to tracking code. So you'll come in, and um. Mm. Yeah, you'll want to, and, and then from, from this point on, what you can do is you can just simply come into this page, copy that pixel, and then apply it, you know, from there. Or you and can put, always put on every, every sales page or squeeze page, every anything page. that should be. Okay. Every page. Every and page. I put this um, code into the head body. It's right, right below. So if you scroll down, you'll see Facebook oh, right there. All right, there we go. Facebook yeah. ads tracking code. So I paste this Yep. Uh, and apply and I'm done. Yes. Click apply. So, so, so from this point on, you can, you can just come here and copy that entire code and then go and put it on, on another page. Okay, so, David, let me ask you, let me ask you this. Yes. If he hits, if he hits on the sites tab and just, uh, and just export it, would it just, would, would it automatically go on all the pages, like hit on sites on the top? You Chris, can yeah. try that, but I know if you clone the page, then for sure it'll come over that, that pixel. But okay. the sites, I don't know if it, I don't know if it does with the sites. So go, go in the sites. I want to show yeah, you this let's, let's try that. Hit the sites and then, uh, no, no, the sites, sorry, come down, come down to, go back to the settings, I'm sorry. And you see where it says the SEO parameters? Scroll down. Okay, now hit styles then. I know where it is. Just come down to styles, I'm sorry. This is uh, go to the left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, are the reasons? I've never never yeah. done it to the sites, but um, I think it's the sites where you're talking about like, the sites where, where you can export it, right? You know where I'm going, but like you can export it. And it probably puts it onto because uh, onto all the pages in that site, right? So if I have my dream key consulting, my main website, um uh and then I hit assign, the page was successfully assigned to the selected site. Oh, All right, okay. but you want to you want to export. You see, you just want to just export the SEO parameters only. Okay, I got you. Yeah, and then I would just go on to to all the all the all the pages in that in that particular uh, all the pages in that form. Okay, that makes really sense. cool, man. Really, really cool. I got to clean up my Kartra anyway, so. <laughs> so that way you don't have to like that way you don't have to like copy and paste into each yes. page. Like so, in the Dream Key site, everyone will just automatically get the SEO parameters. Gotcha. So right there at the bottom, apply to all pages in the site. Is there anything that yeah. dropped down that you have yeah, to choose? Yeah, yeah. Well, you can, well, what it is, that, that, just they, just only, they only do that, go to a place only do that because let's say you don't like, want, oh, like the gotcha. SEO you wanted, the SEO you wanted on every page. Gotcha. Like if you didn't want it like the help there, so you didn't want certain things on certain pages. So that's a really cool way to just like. Really cool. <clears throat> really cool. There it is there, man. Really good. Okay, cool. So, so save progress, publish live. And let's let's open up this page. So let's let's let Facebook read it for the first time. Read that pixel for the first time. You open up Facebook. Publish progress. No, no. Publish go back to progress. Kartra. Go back to Kartra. So so save progress. Publish live. And yeah, I did. I, so I published it already. Okay, publish live, and then grab the link, and then just open it up in a new tab. <laughs> and you have that. Do you have that? You have that Facebook Pixel Helper, right? On in the in the plugin area. Do you have that? Installed. Uh, I don't know. You got that on your end, Pierre? The yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, it was. Yeah. It, it, it usually be uh, you got to get that plugin so you could know when it fires off. When yeah. It's blue. So go ahead and go to Google. Open up another tab and just mm -hmm. go to Google and and just install it real quick. It takes two seconds. So just uh, search uh, Facebook Pixel Helper. Facebook Pixel Helper. Um. This. Actually, go back to Google. Let me just type it up here. Yeah, Facebook Pixel Helper. See if you can get it from there. 
normally it's right here at the top. It's the Chrome store. Yeah, perfect. So click on that one and then just install it real quick. Done. All right. Cool. <clears throat> okay, cool. So you'll see it here at the top. And if anything, yeah, go ahead and um, actually that doesn't matter. So go back, go, go ahead and go back to your Kartra page, refresh it. And then um, the, the, the landing page, this one right here, refresh this page. And then go ahead and click on that little hammer looking thing next to the zoom icon and the plugins. That little uh, looks, like, looks like a hammer. Yeah, to the right. To the right of the zoom? Right there, right there. Yeah, click on that and you should see that pixel helper down here. Okay, so go ahead and pin it, but there goes your pixel. So, you know, that, uh, that just lets us know that the pixel is good. So now let's go back to the how admin. Do I pin it? What's that? How do I pin it? Drag it over. Click it again. Click it again. Click on the Oh, just click it. Click it the pin. The pin. Oh yeah, the pin. Duh. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. So your pixel is good. We're we're good. So now go back to the ads manager, and let's go ahead and um or the business manager, and and so now here what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on add people and go ahead and add yourself. So click on add people, to the, yeah right there and then just go ahead and add add your name and then and then give yourself full control manage pixel bottom bottom one. Right there, assign. Okay, cool. And then what we'll do also, we may be able to do it now. We, you may have to add payment info if you haven't already, but let's let's click on um, add assets. There is payment info, but in there, I mean, I, I have spent. No, it'll let us know right now. Actually, there you go. So yeah, you can still add it. So go ahead and click on it. You're just adding your account. So so before again, you didn't really have to do any of this stuff, but now everything has to be matching. The pixel's tied to an ad account. Someone's tied to an ad account and everything is set up here. So, um, Custom conversions, we'll get into that part. I'll have you bookmark it from another page. I'll have you bookmark pixels from another page. But now scroll down to the left. And, and now the last one over here is brand safety, which you'll want to integrate your domain with Facebook. Um, so hit, click on domains. And then um, where do you have, actually right now you have, you actually have that website forwarding to Kartra, right? So you're good. Well, there. I have, I, I changed it in Kartra. Um, I watched your, actually, that's how we found you, right? Because I uh, uh, see up here, I changed it in Kartra. I have two okay. domains, okay. bettercallcareers.com and dreamkeyconsulting.com in Kartra. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So which one will you be running ads to? Both of them. So should I add them both? Yeah, we could do them both. So let me show you how to do this. So go ahead. You don't you don't need the www dot. Actually, it won't take it if if you put that. So yeah, take that part out and then just the URL. Um, and then did you get that through GoDaddy or Namecheap or where'd you get that one from? GoDaddy. Okay, perfect. So let's log into GoDaddy. Oh geez. And let's just um, Facebook's going to give us a piece of code here or just a link that we'll need to um, integrate over here. Uh, let's see. Hopefully. Uh... Pierre, have you have you done this part? Integrated the domain? I was just about to say, man, that you know I'm I'm pretty good around the ads, but this is very helpful, and, and you definitely good, know man. what you're good. doing. Good, so good, bro. Good. I appreciate, I appreciate you. Appreciate I appreciate what you bring into the table. Yes, this is sir. Good stuff. Yes, uh, sir. They can't renew. So oh, let's go to that yeah. domain. Okay. And, yeah, there we go. So we'll manage go manage DNS. DNS. Yep. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Facebook real quick, the business manager. So let's just go back to that real quick. And, and as you noticed, you, you clicked on domains to the left, you entered that URL, right? And then you, yeah. and then you clicked, you clicked whatever. And, then, and, then, and then it looks like this, nothing happened, Yeah. right? Refresh it. So you always have to refresh it. Um, Cause you'll look at it and you're like, damn, did it take it? And you don't even know, but until you refresh it, then you oh, well, here it instructions. Is. So this is what we're looking for. So now copy number two, yep. Go ahead and copy that, that URL. And now we're going to go back to GoDaddy and we're going to create a text file. So just cl click on add and then hit TXT. So hit the drop down TXT and then the host, you're going to put the at sign and then go ahead and paste in the value to the right. At Facebook? Actually, no, 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 just the at sign, just the at sign. Yeah, oh, okay. The host, the host, yep. And then the value, go ahead and paste. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's save this. And then um, we're good over here. So now let's go back to Facebook and then we're going to click on verify. You may have to do it a few times, but we'll see. Click on verify. Okay, scroll down, verify again. Scroll down. It's not letting me scroll down. Um, you should, yeah, maybe, there you go. 
verify again. Okay, X out, verify again. Maybe I should I uh, refresh no. on GoDaddy or anything? No, just go ahead and verify. Here you go. Okay, yeah. worked. Yeah, it takes a few times. So now refresh this page. That red dot at the top will go green. Better call Chris.com, that red dot. So we're looking for that to be green. Um, and we're good. This is what all those people charge people two grand a month for, right? So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. That's and then that's what people get. But now I now that I learned it, I'm like shit. Everyone needs to know this themselves, right? I don't yeah. So once you know this stuff, bro, you don't need anyone. I'm sure there's so, people that still want to just like write a check and have it done for them. Oh right? yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Um, so um, this, so this is good. So, it's, um, so that's working now. It's got a green circle. Yes. So we're good here. So go ahead and, um, click on connected assets. Let's see if we need to connect anything, which I don't think we do. Click on add assets right there to the, to the right. Okay. So go ahead and go ahead and add, um, you don't need both of them, but add, I mean, shit, you can, you might as well. You might as well. If you're going to be running ads from both of them, that's fine. So click on done, and then you can do that other domain real quick if you want to, since it's pretty fast. Um, just add, click on add at the top to the middle. Oh yeah, that's right, add. And let's just add that other domain as well. So so this right here, Pierre, man, this is where with the whole Apple iOS update and, and all that you know back and forth with Apple and Facebook, and that's why Facebook's making a lot of these changes. This is one required part where yeah, whichever this is, ad you're running- This is why my thing- yeah, got, my uh, my ad account got shut down. It yeah, actually bro. is yep. shut down right now yes. because yes. They, yes. they they push this update. Yeah, because because maybe a lot of your business info may not be there. Um, your name might not be attached uh, or or yeah attached to the pixel or the ad account. Like all this shit that we're yeah. doing right now in the business settings, attaching your name with everything. Yeah, you may not have because none of us really did it in the past. I didn't do it. I, yeah, I can yeah, be honest. Yeah. We straight followed it. So, you know because it wasn't required in the beginning, yep. right? So that was normal. Yeah. But now it keeps getting all my accounts are shut down. Everything is yes. red. Um, yes, it's it's setting up all this, and then it's also setting up your your two factor authentication. Yeah, that's the other so, thing I was about to do too. So do that, and then um, and then and then set up all this as well. Your business info, tie your pixel to your name, your ad account, tie it, um, verify the domain. So yeah, little random stuff like this, man. Is, is yeah, it's important. good stuff, man. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. So yeah, hit refresh a few or verify a few times. The little things that make the biggest difference, right? Yes, bro. All right. Okay, we're good. We are good to so go. And then you I'm can good. Um, refresh this page and then um, go ahead and go ahead and bookmark this and just name it domains. That way you you can get to this right away. Not that you'll need to really get to this in the future, but at least you have a bookmark domains. Okay, cool. So now we're we're good out of here. So we bookmarked, we bookmarked ad accounts, we bookmarked um, the domains, we bookmarked just the overall page for business settings. Um, let's see if your name pulls right here. But then, um, yeah. So go ahead and choose both of them. I, so I, what you'll do, you know, later on, like you know, whenever you get a minute, is just come back in here and and add all the business info. That's okay. all you need to do now. It's just, it's just, it's just make sure you fill that in. On and that again, original, like, on that bit, uh, original page that we looked, the first to, page to we the, looked at. To the left, yeah, to the left and down. Business yep. info. So if you got, you got business info at the very bottom. Business info. Yeah. Okay. So, so right there, so, just fill in all that stuff and verify. Phone number, yeah, no problem. That email. Okay. So now let's go to the top. Let's hit the dots. Now we're gonna just bookmark a few more things, and 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 we're pretty good. Um, what dots hit, am I looking for? Hit here? the dots at the the top. Oh, the dots yeah. at the top. And then let's go to, let's just start with the ads manager. Let's just go to the ads manager. Let, let's let's bookmark, bookmark that real quick. You'll see at the very, very top or right there. Yeah, ads manager. And and as you navigate through the, through the platform, as Pierre, Pierre knows this, man, as you're kind of just moving through, sometimes Facebook will have you in a different account. Like sometimes they'll have you in your in the default account, which may be, you'll, and you'll see it here in the top left. You'll see, so right now they they pushed us to dream, they pushed us to dream key consulting, which is the one we want to be in anyways. But sometimes if you hit that drop down, sometimes you'll be in the other account. Okay. Yeah. So and so you'll be setting stuff up and you're like, holy shit, I'm in the wrong account. So book that's why when you're doing like a screen share or something, like if I'm teaching somebody something, you gotta make sure and bring it off the screen. Yes. And make sure you're in the right account because you can be in somebody else's account trading yes, all their man. business. Yeah, man. Pierre knows. So bookmark this. Let's name this one ads manager. So this is your ads manager. This way you'll be running your ads from out of this specific account, Dream Key Consulting. Um, so that's ads manager. Hit the dots in the top left. And let's also go to audiences. 
Um, over here is, is where we'll start creating a, you know, all your custom audiences, those who are watching your videos, those who are landing on your opt-in pages, those who are actually opting in and landing on your thank you page, we'll be creating custom audiences around a bunch of different pages and videos. So just go ahead and why don't you just set one up real quick right now, hit create a custom audience because you probably have a ton of random videos on your page. Click on, and, and here's the deal about, about these custom audiences. Do you create a lot of custom audiences, Pierre? Like, are you, do you have this part really down? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is something I do, yeah. What, what do you really focus on the most? Like, is it, is it website? Is it customer list, video? Like, what are you trying to create audiences around? Just so I do a lot of, like, I focus more on, like, the videos. Perfect. Because yep. I run a lot of videos and then try to retarget the people that watch the videos and percentage of the videos and stuff like that. Perfect, perfect. That's really, really that's the most effective for sure. That's that. So that's one audience or those are many audiences, but that's one section you guys will really focus on, especially with, with J man, like as you're putting out videos on listings on an open house coming up on, on a, on a seller guide that you may want people to download as you're putting out video, man, you, you for sure want to build a custom audience and retarget everyone that has watched a video. But as you go to website, that's where really it, it the, the custom Imagine. audiences are really, really important because that's when you start creating custom audiences of those who who opt in and land on your thank you page. So if J-Man is running, a, running an ad on a listing, I go to the landing page, I opt in, I then land on your thank you page, right? That's a website, that's a custom audience. And that's you do the pixel audience, for that, for the thank you page. A pixel goes on that thank you page, but most importantly, a custom audience. Because as I, as I capture leads, even with the different digital products that you guys sell, the coaching services, when you guys are taking an order and that person is going through your website to process that transaction, whether it's a lead or a purchase, whatever, it's the same thing, website, custom audience, but it, but it's, it's, it's the custom audience of those who opted in or purchased, for example. So yeah, those who land on the thank you page, the reason why that's so important is because you want to then start excluding that audience from seeing future ads. Yeah. Right. So, so that's where a website will be. a. a Cause they already a, bought it or opted in. They already so opted in, they bought. Yep. So now you want to exclude them. So, so that's what you want to be doing for sure. A lot of is excluding leads and that, and you'll know that from the website. So let's just do video for right now. Let's, let's click on video and just grab a random video. And, and so this is what Pierre does a lot is just creating these custom. What do you do it off of? What, what percentage do you normally try to retarget Pierre? Like what, what, what do you be doing? I mean, you try to get to that 10 seconds, right? Like if, you know, I, I do 10. You do 10. Do okay. Eight. Okay. Uh, what, is, what is it? What do you see? What do you see is the best? Well, 10, 10 is cool. 15 is cool. 25%. I normally go with 25%, but then again, you know, as you go like higher, a percentage, so if it's a minute long video and then they watch 25% of it, doesn't matter how long. Right. So, yeah, it, it, I, I see that as obviously better. Right. But, but at the same yeah. time, that audience will be smaller, right. As you go 50%, 75%, 95%, oh, yeah, that audience would obviously be smaller. 10 seconds. Yeah. That'd probably be our biggest audience, right? 10, even three seconds. Right. But it's up to you. I mean, put yourself in the consumer's shoes. Like as you're scrolling through and you look at something for 10 seconds, did it grab your attention or, or, or did it not? I can, I can, I can, I can watch a video for 10 seconds and know what the hell it is. So to, to so me speaking from a consumer's perspective, that would probably be a, an audience, you know, 10 seconds. It's all up to you. It's all preference. 10 seconds is good. 15 seconds. I, I do a lot of 25% because I want that person to really know what the hell I was talking about. They might not have watched all one minute, but they watched a good piece of it. 25%. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's that's, good. if I'm going to spend money and, and get back in five percent is about 10 seconds of a minute, right? Yeah, man. I, I I'll go 25%, but again, it's up to you guys. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 15 just choose that to anyone 15 seconds or 25%. Yeah. Okay. You know, so, so go ahead and choose one of those, choose one of those, and then just click on choose videos at the top in the top, right? Choose videos and just find that one video. And so when it comes to like, for example, you mentioned in the beginning, J man puts out a lot of, a lot of videos organically. When it comes to this, when it comes to, when it comes to creating custom audiences around videos, I'll normally only create a custom audience. And we're doing this for the example, for an example. So just grab anything, grab it from any page, any page, um, and then just grab any video. But I'm showing you guys this, how to do it, at, you know, as an example, but in the future, you'll only really want to create custom audiences around videos that you actually ran Facebook ads on. Not a video, like if I was J-Man, for example, and I'm putting video out like crazy and it's just organic, 
I don't want to put, I don't want to create a custom audience around those people because chances are those people are all over the place. And, and if I'm a local business owner and I'm targeting a local area, I don't need to retarget people who watch that video because the majority of them don't even live in the area. Right. So if it was, so if it was a video that I put out last week as an ad and I was targeting freaking Miami and, 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 and 25% of that, of that video, everyone, first of all, is in that area. I'll retarget that audience. You know what I mean? So, so here again, 51 views, 26, 41, 53, 116. Those are all views from people around the country. Mm -hmm. Right. So if I was a local business owner, again, I, I, I wouldn't do it this way. Um, but do it for the hell of it. For the example, click on that box, click confirm, and then there goes that audience. So whatever right. video you chose down there, go ahead and click confirm, and then name it. Name it. So um, if you want to? Um, wait, I have two. Put, I have two videos here. It looks you like put two. Yeah, you put two in there. So um, I take. Yeah, you you can. No, that's fine. You can leave that as is the page, but then scroll down. There's, there's two boxes that are. I, I, I was on a different, I think I was on a different page. Oh, did you? Okay. Let me see. It was down, you checked it. Yeah, but I switched. Here it is. Okay, cool. So, yeah, perfect. Use that one. Okay, so name that video, whatever it is, audience name, and then in parentheses, put 25%. You know, um, so, so, whatever people video watch. that was, people, yep, perfect. Something short, something sweet. There's some Yeah. And, and then in parentheses, 25% next to Jamie. audience name or description. Yeah. Audience name. So there goes that, there goes that first audience. But then again, the, as you go and create your future ones, create them around videos that you ran as ads. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah. so, so do that. Don't just come in here and grab all these damn videos and, and create audiences around. Just one, so when that. you do a video ad, but you know, if, so we, we might, we might have like a car trip, uh, landing page with the video on it. Mm -hmm. Um, Right. So, uh, the, I mean, this, vid, this video doesn't apply, but if we would do it, we would be using a, our, like our cartridge landing page to generate the traffic or whatever other technology that had the video in it, or would we want to post the video separately to Facebook good uh, question. within the ad so that we can get the, um, you know, the metrics for it. R really good question. Th those are two, di those are two different videos. So one video is the ad. That's what's on, that's what's on Facebook. That's what's. And then when I click on it, your landing page would open, and that'd be something different. And then we'd have yes. to fix that. I got it. So yes. we use the video, make a video ad with Facebook, put the video in Facebook, have that just to get them to click on it, and mm -hmm. then they're into they're into your CRM. Yeah, they they click, they go to your page, and then and then and then give me another. If you're going to give me another video, give me a different message. So now let sure. me know exactly what the next step is. Those are two different videos. You gotcha. Know? Um. So yeah, so so this right here, bookmark this. This is custom audiences. You'll be creating custom audiences around videos, and you'll be creating custom audiences around around your links, around URLs, around different pages inside of your funnel. And 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 the most popular ones is is those who land on your opt-in page. And I, I'll go over this whole entire custom audience on call number three. So we'll we'll get way more into these, and we'll bookmark even more. Sure. The other ones are, are really just your, your, your pages, your, all your pages, like not all, but specific landing page. Thank you. Yeah, make it like anybody who landed on the page for anybody who, you know, cause you know, like even within cart, we do that. Like those that clicked on the page, yes. those who abandoned the cart, uh, then yes. those all, who yep. bought, bought it and went to the success page. Right. Now those specific links, those specific links need to be custom audiences. Okay. So I need to have a, 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 a custom audience of those who landed on my add to cart page but didn't purchase. They landed on the add to cart, but they never landed on the thank you for purchasing. Yep. That's a very specific audience. Those who land on my opt-in page, but they never landed on the thank you page. So they never they opted, opted in. in for the listing. They never opted in for the open house. They never opted in to download your free seller guide. They only landed on the page. That's a specific custom audience. I'll retarget that audience in the future and make sure that I stay in front of them. You know, um, and then, and then again, those who land on the thank you page, you want to create an audience around those people and always exclude them from seeing future ads, you know, and even your customers, even those who, who, who schedule an appointment, if you guys are in the business of, of, of appointments, what I do is I have my, like, you'll go to my calendar, you'll schedule a call and then you'll land on my thank you for scheduling page. That yeah. page is a specific custom audience. And so, um, that audience I can use in the future to maybe run an ad to them, but I really don't need to because I have their email. So I can just email them any message. But what I, what I would use that audience for is to exclude. 
So if you've already scheduled an appointment with me, you don't need to keep seeing my ads. I'll exclude you from future ads because I have that audience, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so people who scheduled an appointment, people who opted in, people who bought your shit, that is a custom audience that should be excluded from other ads. That's website. Yeah. So we'll get more into this once you, once we go back into Kartra, which we like call two or call three, but you bookmark this. Now let's click the dots to the left. And, and there's, there's just, there's just, I think a couple more click on, let's go to, let's go to events manager. You'll see, um, scroll down, you'll see events manager. Passed it. Oh, oops. Are my eyes not tuning into this? Events okay. manager. Perfect. Okay, cool. So over here, this is where I'm going to have you save the pixel or bookmark the pixel page. Over here is where we'll also bookmark our custom conversions. Um, and then over here, Pierre, there's a there's an update that we have to comply with. Um, but we may do this on this call. We may do it on our, on our next call, but I'll show you what it is. But X out of this. So right here, this is your pixel. So you can see right there, dream key. And, and I always kind of remember the last four. I try to always remember nine, 9173. The name for sure, but then also the number 9173. That's the code we always want to make sure we're, we're in. So from here, let's click on, go ahead and click, go ahead and scroll down a bit and click on add events. You'll see right there, add events. And then right here, actually, you know what? What I'll do is I'll just have you bookmark it from here. Bookmark it from here, and I want you to name this one Pixel because that's where your Pixel is at. You click on Add Events, and, and you get your Pixel from right, here, from right here. So click Done. Click on Add Events again just so you know. Add Events. Uh, hit the drop down right there in the middle, the bottom. Add Events. Where? You passed it right there. Add Events. The drop down. Uh, down. To the left. It's above the Pixel. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So from a new website, you're always going from a new website, click on that from a new website and then install code manually and then click the green button. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then you take that and you go apply it to your Kartra page. That's it. Or you, page? any page. I mean, all your pages, but, but, but if you, that's, do, the, same you one I, that's the same one I just installed, that's the same one you just installed. That's your pixel. So okay. If you're doing it like the sites, like Pierre, like that, that hack right there, that's the best way to do it. But in the future, if you ever need to come back, this is maybe, 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 maybe bookmark from right here. But then again, now you bookmark it from over there. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, you just hit settings and then, and then track your sure. code and then mm -hmm. you can, but that's the same page you were already on. I think yeah, I'm gonna, it's, I mean, I, I mean, I, I have a bunch of them. Um, just put on, open up anyone or any, anyone pertaining to that funnel. Uh, yeah, it's all the same stuff. Like, you know, so, you know, um... I have a... so remember... just pick one, bro. <laughs> I remember when there was nothing in here. Oh, you want me to just pick one? Okay. Yeah. Idiot. yeah just, just anyone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. See all those, all those checkout pages, man. Those are all custom audiences. So we'll, we'll get more into that on our next call. Okay. Because that's when we'll have to grab the link and then go set everything up. So yeah, for sure we'll knock all that out next. So um, tracking code. That's tracking code. Yeah, yeah, and then you'll see it. You're at the not bottom. that way at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So it's always in the same place. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Cool. So apply and then yeah, just save progress, publish live, and then um, and then grab that link. Let's just grab that link and, and open it up. Okay, cool. So we'll, we'll check that pixel helper. Make sure that that's your pixel and, and, and we're good with this page. So perfect. So now let's just go back to, there goes your pixel, 9173. Perfect. So let's go back to the events manager. And, and we bookmarked that pixel page. Now, the yep. last thing, you could just hit cancel right here. One cancel. thing we'll do also is let's bookmark. Yeah, hit, you, yeah, you could just, yeah, that's fine. And then to the left, you'll click on, you'll hover over the blue triangle and then go to custom conversions. This right here is, 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 is I mean, this is, I mean, everything is, everything is important, but this is the most, like this is the yeah, most. That's the magic right there. Yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta create these custom conversions. So we won't do it now. Our custom conversions, we'll do that on our on our on our second or third call. Okay. Um, 
and we'll, there's a few different custom conversions we'll set up here, but just X out of this and just bookmark it. So let's bookmark this page and name it custom conversions. Great. And then I got everything set up. I see it. So custom conversions, custom conversions, click on done. And there's one more thing we'll want to check real quick. Actually, you know what? We'll have to set up our custom conversion first, but click on the dots to the left and then just go back to, um, go back to events manager. So you'll, um, this is, this is the new part, Pierre, um, you know, per the iOS update, but we may not be able to do this just yet. We have to set up the custom conversion, but um, I'm going to have you just prep it real quick. Click on settings right there to the right settings. And then let's just scroll down to the very, very bottom and you'll see traffic. I think it's traffic permissions. Yeah. Traffic permissions. Click on that create allow list and just make sure that your links are, are there. Um, okay. So better call. And then, and then there was one more um as well so let's go ahead and go ahead and um yeah you can enter it there enter enter that domain at the top actually that's that one's already there so okay so enter the other one no ww yeah again? no no ww just the perfect confirm okay so hit click on close and then um, go, yeah, see, so you're good. So, okay, so those are the two that are that are allowed. Perfect, okay, cool, so we're good there. So click on overview, right there at the top, overview. And then um, this, will be, this will be next. I don't think we can do this just yet because again, we have to set that custom conversion, but click on aggregated event measurement right there. Yeah, click on that and then configure web events. And then over here, once we, yeah, you can click on either one of them. Um, domain verified, manage events. Over here, click on edit. We won't be able to finish this part, but this is what, what we have to finish for sure. Click on add events. So over here, and I'll have you just bookmark it. Let's, let's, let's bookmark it from here and, and call this one web configurations or event, yeah, web event configurations or web configurations, whatever, that's fine. Web configurations, perfect. So we'll wanna come back to here. Um, on our next call, we'll set up our custom conversions. And, and once we do, then we'll see it here in the dropdown. We'll be able to click on custom conversion. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be able to, to the right, the event name, we'll be able to click on your custom conversion. Okay. And then there'll be a bunch of them? Yeah, there'll be not a bunch of them, but there'll be a few different custom conversions. Once they're, once they're created, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Once they're created, we'll see it here in the dropdown. And then we just line them up and click submit, and that's it. Um, so let's look at the folder real quick. Let's go to the ads manager folder, and let's see what we have in there. Okay. Go so, to your bookmarks. Actually, leave this one. Leave this one. That one. Um, yeah, leave this one bookmarked. This won't yeah, we, won't be one that you that you leave bookmarked, but just for now, because we have to get back to this. So if you look at the ads manager folder, what do we got in there? We got business info, business settings, ad accounts, domains, ad manager, custom audiences, pixel, and custom conversions. It's those eight. You have the web configurations, but you'll end up deleting that. It's those eight. Those are okay. the only eight things, man, you'll ever, ever, ever spend your time in. That's it. Oh, There's nothing only else. eight? Those eight. Yeah. Those eight. I mean, of course you got reporting and, and you, but you can look at the reporting from the dashboard. Sure. So, so, um, but it's those eight tabs that you're going to spend all your time in all your time. And Perfect. so now as we continue with these future, with these next few calls, we're going to fill in the blanks. We're going to, we're going to fill in the custom audiences. We're going to fill in the custom conversions. The pixel can go on, 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 on all your pages, but it's really just setting up the custom conversion, setting up the custom audiences, and then, and then knowing how to run these damn ads. So it's just the back end part first. So that's what I wanted to do on this call is just bookmark everything and kind of just get you more familiar with this business manager and then have everything set up for our next call. Which Holy will be the cow, there's so much to do. I feel like we did, I feel like we did a lot. So I just got to go in there. Uh, and update our settings and then we'll schedule the next call and then we'll be ready to go on that one, right? Yes, the, the business info. So just go back in and fill in the business info. Yeah. And 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 set up a two-factor authentication if if you haven't already. But yeah. um you'll be able to see that in the business settings as well. That's what you'll you'll want to do. Yeah, business info, fill in all that, verify yeah. the email for sure. Make I did sure that already right now. Already cool. Perfect. Yeah. And then well, and then we're good, man. And then and then on our on our next call, um have that pixel, have that pixel on every, on every page, because on our next call, we're going to take a lot of links and we're going to create custom audiences and we're going to create custom conversions. 
Cool. So how, well, add the pixel to a couple of pages for our offers, our opt-in offers. Uh, whatever pages, yeah, man. Whatever pages you're you're going to be running ads on, yeah, for sure. Your whole entire okay. funnel, if if that. Okay, great, um, perfect. You only, yeah. Let me ask you something, David. You pretty much only need one pixel, right? I see a lot of people creating multiple pixels. Good, good you question, man. Re really good question. No, like to tell you the truth, like that's some advanced. That's an advanced question, and 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 so I'm going to give you the right advanced answer. Um, you do want more, you do want more, but that's as you scale, that's as you scale, that's as you, you know, get really start to see an ROI from this, then, then that's when, and, and that's when your custom audiences are bigger. And then that's when you'll end up, you know, creating lookalike audiences and then just spending your time targeting lookalike audiences. And, and that's where all your money's at. But at that point is when you'll, you'll, again, you'll have more skin in the game. You'll be spending way more money. You'll be making way more money, but you're spending way more money. And that's when you'll want to start separating shit. That's when you want yeah. you'll want to create multiple ad accounts. That's when you'll want to even create another business manager. This business manager, you only you can only have two business managers. So hit the drop down on the top left, Dream Key Consulting. So this right here is a business manager, and then you have the top one. Those are your two business managers, and then you have your account, which is a third one. So so at when you so, so to answer your question, Pierre, it's good to have multiple, um, because again, if one. You're, you're experiencing it right now. You had your shit shut down. But had yeah. you had, had a, a second account up and that pixel still collecting data as we speak, right? That would have been a, back, a backup pixel in a, in a backup ad account that you had set up. Yeah. So, so th yeah, yeah that, as, you go, as you go into spending more, you'll want to set up more. You, you'll want to set up another business manager and you'll want to set up five more ad accounts. Like with this one specific um, business manager, Dream Key Consulting, in here, because it's a brand new account, he only has one ad account. But per business manager, you can you, you, you get five accounts. And, and right. the other four will open up once you start spending money, once, once Facebook starts to hit that credit card. And that's another thing. Make sure, when, when, make sure you know your bill. Actually, that's the other one. That's the other one we need to bookmark is billing. I'm sorry, that's the last one is billing. Um, we got to bookmark that page because it's important to know your billing date. It's important to know <clears throat> that card that's on file because that card it, that's on file, you want to make sure that shit goes through every time, man. <clears throat> you don't ever want that card to decline for whatever is that payment, reason. Is that payment methods? The payment methods, <clears throat> you can add it here. Um, oh, where, where do I bookmark the billing page? Yeah, so let's hit the dots at the top left and let's go to billing. So you'll scroll down. I'll have you bookmark it from over here. But yeah, you can always come back over there and, and add the payment info there, or you can just add it over here where I'm taking you. Um, but click on, um, actually not not yet. Don't bookmark it yet. Click on payment settings. I'll have um, you bookmark it. Yeah, so just uncheck that star, that blue star. Yeah, just remove it. So click on payment settings. And then over here, you can bookmark it from over here. Click on payment settings in the top right. Oh, here we go. So over here, you can bookmark it from here but this will give us our date, like our billing date. Um, so if you click on, where did the damn date go? The date used to be just right here in front of your face, but yeah, this is billing. So um, I, maybe if you, once you add a payment, it might show you your billing date, but yeah, knowing, knowing your billing days is freaking important, man. You don't want to wake up and Facebook hit your card for 700 bucks. Like you don't want to do that. Like you want to know the billing date and you always want to make sure that card goes through. So um that's what's super important. So let's, yeah, so you bookmark this, add a payment later if, if needed, and and that's it. So those those are the top those are the top book. So that makes it nine. Those are the top nine bookmarks, bro. That's it. There's nothing else to freaking know about this damn thing, other than how to fill fill in all the damn book bookmarks. So that's, and that's what we'll do on our next call. <laughs> that's what we'll do on these next few calls is is now fill in fill in everything. Fill in fill in the the custom audience. Fill in the custom conversion, um, and then just go from there. Sounds good. So cool, good man. stuff, man. <clears throat> so I appreciate it, man. Any Great. questions we'll at all, up. guys? I think I, I'm good. Uh, it's, I will just schedule the next call. Use the same link to schedule the next uh, the next gig. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. And I'll have this uploaded to to um, a private YouTube channel where it's unlisted, and I'll shoot this email, this video out to you guys tonight. Perfect. Cool. Excellent. All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate thanks, it, man. Looking forward to hearing. Yes, looking forward to our next call. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. bye.